All right. Um, got a, a few loose ends to take care of here, I think. And uh, one of them is that we've not done anything to make our images uh, more sizable, resize them, or, or anything. <laughs> so we're, we have images that are out of control large. So uh, I thought I'd just begin to address that since CSS is the way to handle that. So let's jump on over to Putty, and this should be a very quick video, for real this time. <laughs> so I just grabbed, here, first I'll show you uh, the back, some background on the, from the browser. All right, there's my home page. I'll take my, where I'm making these examples is in here. One of our first videos, this first one, uh, where I was creating a clickable link, uh, my link, and yours likely the same, uh, became ginormous, right? It's, it's not been sized, but it does work. It goes back. So the, the link all works. I just need to resize it and, and, and you know, whatever else I want to do to, to style that link. I don't like it on its default style, right? So what I did was I, using CSS, I copied that file. And so now we see with the, with the exact same file, I added some CSS and I now have a link that's that size. Now you'll notice if you can see it, I, I, I know if I make this bigger, you won't, it won't make a difference for you. I don't think, let's see. I don't think that'll make a big difference with, or will it? No, I don't think so. I don't think that makes a difference for you. But anyway, um, you would, you will see on this now, it's the same file, right? So instead of being ginormous on my page, it's now much smaller, uh, more manageable. Let's make this normal size. So that's more manageable. Um, something else is unmanageable here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so it's it's smaller. Number one, I put a border around it. Number two, and that border is curved a bit, right? So now you this is going to be hard to see here because both backgrounds are white. But if I change this background, which I could do in the head, I'm sorry, in the body, I I could um, I could change. I could put a rule in CSS for body, and and one of the properties is uh, background or background color. We'd have to look it up to be sure, but then I could modify the color of this background, right? And then you would see clearly that there's a radius right here, and you might see if it was yellow or something that that made. I, I didn't color this borderline, but we could do that, or we could not have the the, the borderline, right? So the sky's the limit on what we can do. But um, those are a few of the things that I, I modified, but I did not modify the HTML at all. I just added a CSS rule, which I'm gonna show you in a moment here. All right, so now it's still clickable and it goes back to my index, just as this one did. That's how it used to look. I copied that file, made a new file, and put the CSS rule in, and that's now the CSS rule has done this to the same image, which of course goes back because I didn't change any code. All right, so let's take a quick peek at, um, at how that was accomplished. I'm going to move you back to uh, that my screens are really fighting me here right now. There we go. Let's get that out of the way a little bit. Come back to Putty. And just let me get my Putty up here too. All right, so. Everything else is the same in this file. The only thing I did to this file was add this rule right here. I added the whole style, right? Because I hadn't used style before. All right, so the whole style element is new. That's the only thing new in the file, All right? And so I used an element selector because I only have one image on the, uh, on the page. So I, I needn't bother with classes or anything else, IDs. I only have one image there. Now, I might want to, to modify the way I think about this or change the way I think about it. If, for instance, I used that. Here, let's finish this conversation and then I'll explain how I may want to change the type of, of modifier that I have. So the only thing I did was I added these rules, right? So I put a border on. 
I put a radius on the border so that it was curved. Um, I add some padding inside so that the, the image was was kind of uh, padded from the border. And um, I changed the width, which is the major effect, right? It made it much more manageable. And I can change that to another number. I likely would if I wanted to use that as a control, uh, like a, a if I had a, a back arrow and a forward arrow, <coughs> I might like to... Um, to make that even smaller, much smaller, maybe 50 pixels. But you know, I would try a couple of numbers and see uh, what numbers actually made things work out well. So it didn't take much to change that. And that's the whole point of CSS. You don't have to do much to get things to uh, be modified. And later, as long as it's not mixed in with my HTML code, right, it's, it's separated, right? It's now it's in a style element all its own, these modifications that I'm making to image then I can just come in and at some later point, if I want to change the size or modify some other property, I can just come in and modify the image properties. Right? I don't have to go through the code. And so let's imagine uh, that uh, those, that arrow that I have is, uh, is one of uh, at least two, a back and a forward arrow that I use as navigation buttons. I would want those to be really small, but then maybe I have a number of other images in the page, right? Which would be rather likely uh, if I was really building a web page out of lots of images, probably. So um, I wouldn't want all images to be the same size as a navigation image. So I might make a class called nav IMG. And in that class, I'd make those navig I, I, this, whatever settings I want for the properties of those probably much smaller than any other images that I have on the page. But I want, let's say, all the other images to um, to be the same. So they're, they're, they all look the same, same structurally the same. They're different images, right? So you know, one might be a mountain, one's a volcano, one's something else, but, but they're all the same size. They all have the same kind of visual qualities about them other than the image itself, right? So uh, that, that might be a, a situation where now I have a page that's filled with different types of images, all right? Some images are for navigation. Some um, are clickable links that would maybe take you to another page. So I want those to be styled differently. So now I, I might want a class at that point. So I could, you know, have the image, the navigation image class separate from uh, the other images that are on the page. So that's an example of how um, class would come into play, and it um, it, it shows you a way to, to uh, maybe make some adjustments to your images on your pages <laughs> as you're going through. All right, that's it for this one. Did I keep it short? I think I did. I think I did. Uh, let's stop.